So remember the internals of this inverter here. We got the wires hooked up to both of the uh, LED and power switch items. And uh, I didn't mark which was which. So to figure that out, we can see red and black here and red and white here. And we can match those up with the red and black and red and white of the spliced wires to the switch and LED. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tape these up and then uh, I'll screw this baby in and then we'll have one inverter. Got the black and red wire here. I'm going to mark that with black. And then I'll mark it on the other side. Alright, now I know what to connect where. I'm going to stick this baby in the car. Now we're going to go over there. Okay, so we got that. Running the ground wire around back. Can you see this hole under here? Dude, this stuff's been stripped. I think I'm gonna do another do not do this at home segment and uh, take the blowtorch in here and uh, solder it on. <laughs> When you're lighting the rubber in your car on fire, always have a fire extinguisher on hand. I'm going to solder this, uh, this ground screw back there to the car because uh, it's stripped. Ugh. Oh fuck. Fire. Positionified installation. That's right. Testing fit and finish. Looks like we're gonna have to scrape some plastic out of here to make these switches work. Kind, kind of. There. That's. Cool. All right. So I've got my two white inverter wires coming out here, going around the back coming around this side, they're going to plug into this switch and LED over here. These two wires run from the inverter in the back, and they are going to hit a socket. They're going to install inside of a socket, um, which will be coming out of the side panel right here. Right now, I'm just screwing this in. It's the exciting part. And once I uh, connect these wires back here to the switch and LED, I think this baby should be ready to charge that camera there. And then we'll be able to uh, power the camera to show you the footage of installing that power outlet right there. All right, black tape, black tape, the black marked one to go in the black unit here. I'm going to uh, electrical tape these, isolate them from each other, and then electrical tape them together. And I'll do the same for these. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to the sound, real close. Do you hear that? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Okay.
notice I'm putting these wires through the hole prior to uh, completely attaching the center console cover. Alright, we got that. You wanna cut? Sure. On. Alright, so we're at the final steps here. Um, here's the outlet that's extended from the uh, other inverter. It's going to plug onto these two. I've uh, differentiated these such that there's no way I can screw it up. Once I plug that in, I'll wrap them up with tape and then I'll shove this back into there. I've designed this outlet such that these two tabs catch on the plastic and it won't be coming out. It'll be stuck in there. So once that's in there, I'll plug that in I'll uh, tie it up there and I'll wrap it with electrical tape, zip tie that off, and uh, I'll have two inverters in my car. <laughs>